If you think this is bad, wait till you see how Booster Robotics treats its humanoid robots. Also, Google's massive investment to scale production of Aptronics AI robots, the Unitree G1's new dance moves, and the world's first humanoid robot for polishing. Kai Sinat, the most popular streamer on Twitch, recently ruffled feathers for the way he and his friends treat the Unitree G1 humanoid robot he reportedly purchased for $70,000. In footage from his livestream, Sinat and others aggressively tried to knock down the robot. Viral clips sparked discussions about AI ethics and the anthropomorphism of robots. Some expressed discomfort for what they called bullying or abuse of an AI-powered machine. They called the behavior a disturbing reflection of how humans might treat increasingly sophisticated technology in the future. Others found the backlash to be absurd noting that the robotics industry has a long history of getting physical. Or even harder. Seriously? Yeah. Leading robotics firm Boston Dynamics, for example, gained virality in the 2000s and 2010s with videos showcasing robots like Big Dog and Atlas getting kicked and hit during stability tests. The demonstrations were intended to showcase the resiliency of the robots, but some perceived the actions as abuse. Now owned by Hyundai, Boston Dynamics has since dialed back the robot violence. Hitchbot made its way from Canada all the way to the city of brotherly love. Now new video is claiming to help solve the mystery of its demise. In 2014, a social experiment called Hitchbot explored whether robots could trust humans. Canadian researchers David Harris-Smith and Frock Zeller designed the Hitchbot to travel by hitchhiking, relying entirely on the goodwill of strangers for mobility. Standing under a meter, or about 3 feet, and weighing 11 kilos or 25 pounds, the robot had a distinct, friendly appearance. Hitchbot wore Wellington boots, had pool noodles for arms, and had a smiley face on its LED screen. Hello, I am Hitchbot, a hitchhiking robot from Port Credit, Ontario. The idea was to see how people would interact with a talking, solar-powered robot as it hitched across America on its own, tracked by a GPS. The robot treks safely across Canada, Germany, and the Netherlands. But its run ended in the U.S. Hitchbot's journey from Boston to San Francisco ended after just two weeks in Philadelphia when the robot was vandalized decapitated and left irreparable. An outpouring of sympathy followed, with a crowdfunding campaign launched to rebuild the hitchhiking robot. More recently, leading Chinese robotics firm Unitree has become known for putting its robots through the ringer in its demonstration videos. The abuse Unitree's humanoids and quadrupeds endure in the marketing videos make the Twitch streamer's behavior seem mild. As Unitree doubles down on its robot thrashings, Booster Robotics is taking things to another level. The Chinese startup just shared this footage of its pint-sized humanoid robot, the T1, enduring a barrage of stress tests. An engineer breaks a glass bottle over its head, smashes concrete with a sledgehammer on its chest, and beats it with a stick so hard it breaks. Despite the torrent, the robot keeps going. The Booster T1, which stands 1.2 meters and weighs 30 kilos, the Beijing-based robotics firm made the Humanoid, which is intended for developers, available for purchase in late 2024. The startup recently announced its partnership with RoboCup. The leading international robotics competition aims to develop fully autonomous humanoid robot soccer players that can compete against World Cup champions by 2050. Meanwhile, Unitree Robotics just shared this short clip of its G1 humanoid robot with improved dancing capabilities. Fresh off a viral performance during China's Spring Gala, the country's most watched TV show, Unitree says its updated algorithm empowers robots to learn any dance. Unitree trains its robots using NVIDIA's Isaac Simulator. The robots begin their training in a virtual environment, meaning they don't need to physically exist yet to start learning. A digital twin of a robot observes human movements through motion and video data and reinforcement learning. The learned behaviors are then transferred to the physical robot with a process called Sim to Real, short for Simulation to Reality. Maybe Kai Sinat will use the technology to train his G1 to drive the new car he bought the robot to make up for the bullying. Here.
Come get your key. <laughs> the f you mean? I got you a f car, bro. Another Chinese firm, Style Technologies, just introduced what it calls the first humanoid robot exclusively for polishing tasks. The Shanghai-based company, which also operates out of Canada, unveiled its Style Steven Humanoid as it also announced the acquisition of SFT Core Technology, a leading developer of high-performance 6D sensors. A 60 force torque sensor measures forces and torques along three axes to help robots interact precisely with their environment. Style hasn't released a video of the new robot yet. The company manufactures AI-driven flexible polishing robots for tasks like grinding, polishing, and surface treatment. Meanwhile in the West, a leading player in humanoid robotics just got a massive funding boost from Alphabet, Google's parent company. Austin, Texas-based Aptronic just announced it raised $350 million in its latest Series A funding round. Well, I think everybody wants to know when the robots are going to do our laundry. That's the number one question I get. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be a few years for that. So we're starting in the industrial base. Largely, these robots are going to be separated away from humans, working on pretty routine, uh, repetitive tasks. And as the robots get better and we start to solve safety, they become more affordable, they'll start to enter the home in areas like healthcare and elder care, which I'm particularly passionate about. According to Aptronic, the funding was co-led by B Capital and Capital Factory, with participation from Google. The company said the investment will go toward boosting production of its flagship humanoid robot, Apollo. In late 2024, Optronic and Google's DeepMind announced their partnership to accelerate the development of the AI robot. In their joint announcement, the company said they aim to build robots that safely and intelligently work alongside humans in industrial settings like factories and warehouses. Optronic was founded in 2016 as a spin-off from the Human-Centered Robotics Lab at the University of Austin. The company developed and tested 15 different robot prototypes, including contributions to NASA's Valkyrie humanoid robot for space exploration. The company introduced Apollo in 2023 as a solution for physical tasks in industrial settings. Standing 1.7 meters or 5 feet 8 inches, Apollo was originally pitched as the iPhone of humanoid robots. For more on the potentially transformative collaboration between Uptronic and Google, check the related video.